The Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world, renowned for its majestic cliffs and breathtaking beauty. But it's now under threat more than ever before from warming temperatures and development projects. Scientists say February's flash flood was caused by an ice sheet falling off a glacier on India's second highest peak, the Nanda Devi mountain. Dozens of bodies have been recovered and an estimated 150 people are still missing. Environmental activists say they've fought against the building of hydroelectric power plants in the Nanda Devi National Park for decades. We're being told that our trips to the area will hurt its flora and fauna, but those rules don't apply when they use explosives which shake the entire valley. Today we're witnessing the results of their projects which have led to hundreds of deaths. And it's not just dams and power plants which environmentalists say are posing a threat to the region. In 2016, Prime Minister Narendra Modi began a road expansion project in Uttarakhand to make it easier for pilgrims to visit some of Hinduism's holiest sites. A 900-kilometre road through the mountains is being widened without a proper assessment of its environmental impact. Nearly 700 hectares of forest land have been lost to the project, more than 47,000 trees have been felled, and the natural drainage of streams and springs blocked by the dumping of muck. Scientist Ravi Chopra says the breaking up of the mountain is leading to more landslides, which is threatening lives and entire villages. In many places where the slope is weakened, their uh, houses have developed uh, cracks. In fact, uh, there are sections of villages that become uh, vulnerable. And those people really uh, live in fear that any time their houses and their village will slide. The government says it needs electricity and new roads. Dunya ka Hindu. The world's Hindus want to go to the four holy sites. It's their faith and belief. We have to ensure not to harm the environment while carrying on with development. We also share a border with China and some say roads shouldn't be built. Then what will happen? But environmentalists say the balance is tipping too heavily in favour of development. One third of the Himalayas glaciers are expected to melt by the end of this century because of climate change. People here say they are already paying the highest price. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, Chamoli, Uttarakhand.